once you get into space, once you're actually in orbit, that's the view you get. This is on board the International Space Station. That is Samantha Cristoforetti, Italian uh, European Space Agency astronaut who was up there a couple of years ago. And she's in what's called the cupola. The cupola is this wonderful piece of the space station where you can actually float around and it's all glass and you can take photographs and you have this wonderful view um, of planet Earth. And it occurred to me, and the reason I wanted to talk to this, about this today was because that for all, when we think about space travel, we think about looking out into the universe and we think about exploring the universe and we think about going to Mars or we think about going to the moon. But actually the most important thing that we have seen going into space and that we've learned and the ability that we have is to look back at the Earth. And it reminds me, the cupola, of a glass-bottom boat. Do you know what I mean by glass-bottom boat? You go out into the, these wonderful places in the Indian Ocean, these resorts, and they have boats with glass. And you can see into the water, and you can see all the, the landscape and the fish and the coral and everything else. And you learn a lot um, by looking down. And actually, looking back at the Earth is one of the wonderful things that this space industry has given us. We can look at the Earth a bit like looking at a globe. We can step back and we can learn a whole lot more than actually being in it. Stepping back uh, from the canvas. So this is, this is kind of where we are at the moment with the International Space Station. Only a few hundred miles up. Back in the day, and this is the kind of view you get, look, this is where we are. This is London from the space station. This was taken by Tim Peake. And you look at London and you can learn a whole lot about London from looking way back, from stepping back from the canvas. You look at London and you think, who on earth would have designed a city like that? Nobody would have designed a city like that. And of course you understand that London, we've been here for thousands of years, or a few thousand years, and layer upon layer of civilization and ideas and science and engineering has created this extraordinary city. We're going to talk a little bit about cities in a moment. But let's just, um, let's just stand, go back a little bit further from the canvas. This is the very famous uh, blue marble shot, Apollo 17. This was taken on the way to the moon. 1972, uh, the very last Apollo mission. And of course, as we went to the moon, we weren't looking at the moon on the way. We were actually looking back at the Earth, and the Earth was getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. This is the, one of the most um, widely distributed photographs in all the world. And there's a reason, because it was the first time during the Apollo missions that we'd seen the Earth as a globe, as a whole. We'd seen it, the Earth for the first time in the context of the universe, and that had very, very profound implications about how we think about our planet and how we live on our planet. And it was really the, the birth of the environmental movement we can directly link to, to those missions. It's also, exactly, it's also the most overused photograph in PowerPoint presentations. I got that statistic from somewhere, apparently on TED Talks. Most, more people use that slide on TED Talks than any other slide. <coughs> um, let's move a little bit further back from the canvas. You know, you move further back from the canvas, the whole picture becomes even clearer. This is uh, Apollo 8 uh, from the moon. This is the very famous um, moon uh, Earthrise shot. And you can see the blackness of space, the first time that humans had seen the Earth from the surface of another planet, or another planetary body from the, from the moon. Let's move even further back, shall we? <gasps> how, mu how much further back can we go and still see the Earth? Well, look at this shot. Who knows what this shot is? Anyone, anyone know? It's quite a famous photograph. Anyone want to have a guess? This shot was um, taken by Voyager 1 in 1991. The Voyager was a, a, a robotic spacecraft that went out to explore the outer solar system, the outer planets of the solar system. Uh, Carolyn Porco and Carl Sagan and others had this brilliant idea as, it, as the spacecraft had left the solar system. Why don't we turn it round and actually take a photograph of the Earth? What an amazing photograph that would be. And actually NASA at the time said, well, there's, that, 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 there's no scientific reason why we should do that. And it's very hard to see, but if you just look, can you see just that, there's a tiny blue speck can you see that? That is the Earth. That is the Earth from several billion miles away. And if you look at that, it has a profound uh, resonance of just how small, how insignificant, how tiny, how surrounded by this vast ocean of space we are.